Hey guys, it's the Durable Chain here. And it's Wednesday, the middle of my week, and I had time to make a video. So I decided to, before you guys just end up getting bored of my channel and unsubscribe. <laughs> well, anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a secondary tank. That's just a little bit of leftover aspen bedding when I cleaned it. Um, and that is just a stain that I cannot get off. Okay, so, yes, I just got sidetracked. I wish I had a tripod in here so that I could just leave and not show you my messy room, but it's gotta happen. Okay, so first we are going to put some bedding in. The bedding is over there. Okay. So, I have aspen bedding off the bed. And I'm just going to dump a little bit in there. Okay, this is not working. I'll do some duck first and then dump it in. But I can't use too much because it's for my main cage. So I'm just going to use a little until it covers the ground. You don't really need that much anyway because they don't really need to burrow and this they're traveling pretty far. But if you're just like putting them in here to clean tank, you don't need very much. And I just cleaned my dribble tank by the way. I'll show you that in the end of the video. And I've pretty much messed it up. Not really they actually kind of stayed cool with it. It's kind of messed up. I know I'm not a fat person. I don't breathe in my videos because I'm fat. <laughs> nice get tired real easy. Like when I'm putting stuff away, I kind of pant. It's a little weird. Just so you guys know. If you haven't noticed. Okay, I'm just like doing this, I'm, like scooping it. Okay, um, it needs a little bit more. Well, no, it needs like some more to cover up that too. Cause Okay, there we go. So I got my aspen bedding in. Next, you want to put some food in. What I recommend doing is some, if you don't want to like take up a lot of room and use a food bowl, I would just take your food and sprinkle it in there. It's called scatter feeding. So there's just little bits of food in there. And I don't do that with my main cage because I just like to look in the bowl to see if they have food left. I don't like to put like a bunch in every day because then I have to clean the cage over and over and over again. Because it kind of looks dirty. Okay, next we're gonna put in the house. I'm gonna move the bedding because I like to have let them have as much bedding as possible. And then can I move it and they don't really need to dig into this anyway. Okay there, that made just a little bit more bedding. Um, here's the house. And just to make it look just a little bit more natural, I'm gonna sprinkle a little on the top. Okay, there we go. So, so far we have that. Okay, next, they should have some things to play with. Uh, first thing, I have just a second wheel, but it's pretty small, so I'm just going to put it in the second cage. I don't even know if they'll go on it. It's pretty squeaky, too. Oh, 
Maybe not. Okay, I'll put it right there. So now they have a wheel and something else to play with. A try to do. Okay, um I need to put some of this in there. So I'll scratch this off in here. Okay, now I am done with that. Um, when I clean their cage, I usually put their water bottle, like, right here. I just, like, put it right here so that, uh, when I'm cleaning their cage, if they get thirsty, they can have water. Um, what I recommend doing is if you are traveling, just put their water bottle in there. Unless you have, like, a second one, then just keep it in there. But when I clean their cage, I just, for a better explanation, I just, uh, I just put their water bottle in here and then, like, when I have to refill their water bottle, I just take it out and put it in the new cage, and then that's usually the last thing I do so that they have their water in there while they're doing it. And they hate it when I put them in. Okay, this is like off. Okay. There we go. So, yeah. Um, oh, and I also have a lid. Just so you guys know. Because my gerbils can jump out of that. I just have like a screen lid. Um. Oh, I'll show you my clean cage. Okay. They were sleeping so I didn't want to disturb them. They already did. Hi girls. Okay, they don't like me right now. Uh, hang on. Um, I'm going to take that out. So that is my binder. I was just doing homework, and this is the thing I took out. It's just like a circle piece of cardboard. They were just like playing on it. Um. So I put a hut and a blog. It's like a large one. Water bottle. Um. I put their chew toy in there. I put their I put their food dish in the middle of the tank this time because they always try to dig around it so that they can actually go around it but now they don't really have to do that to get around it so and they like to sit in the corners all the time to groom and stuff um that's a real hmm. I don't know what else to say oh yeah and the reason I only have like a little bit of bedding is because this is about an inch at least my tank is kind of deep, even right here. It's like this, this deep when it's, yeah. But um, they don't need too much bedding because it's pretty hot out lately. It's been pretty hot out lately, and they like to dig all the way down to the glass so that they can lay on the glass and cool off. So they don't really need much. And my sister also gets mad if I use too much, so I don't want to use too much. Um. I have cleaned three tanks. I've cleaned my sister's hamster tank. Well, I didn't clean it. She did, but we've used the aspen bedding on that. And then I just cleaned that. And then I just cleaned this today. So, yeah. Um, when you put your gerbils in there, don't leave them in there for too long unless you are traveling. Traveling, just try to hurry up when you're uh, cleaning their cage because my gerbils, they... Well, unless your travel cage is, like, bigger than your other cage. I'm just kidding. Nobody would do that. But, um, anyways, it's because they don't like to... The reason I have, like, this orange dot is because my sister has the same lid, but... Okay. Uh, I need to stop talking. Um, what was I saying? Gee, I wish I could play back a video when I'm, like, in a video. Okay, the reason I say that you guys should clean their, your tank faster is because my, my gerbils don't seem to like the smaller tank. They, like, run around like crazy and they don't like it. Like, they seem kind of scared and, like, confused and they don't like being in there because 
They were in there as babies, and for like two months they were in there. Maybe three months. Um, but they were in there, and they looked pretty sad. So I asked on Facebook um, if anybody had a aquarium tank that they're not using that I could just borrow or just have. And my aunt commented and said that she had one because her daughter had a hamster. And that's where I got that. So that's really great. And they were just miserable in there. And I didn't have dust bath when I bought them because I forgot about that. And they looked so greasy and gross. And I just felt really, really bad. So I got that tank. And then I got this just like two or three weeks ago. I already made a haul video on that. Oh, look at my messy room. I am cleaning that room, my room after I'm done. So don't freak out on me, okay? Okay. I'm weird. Um, but anyways, I'm. If you are a subscriber or a friend watching this, then you guys should like. Well, even if you're not a subscriber or a friend, um, comment on my questions and answers video because I can't make a new one until I have at least five questions because I don't want it to be super, super short. Uh, questions and answers, and I'm going to make another one after that saying all the answers, and then I'm going to, and then you guys are going to com comment more questions on that one. It's just going to keep going on and on and on. So, yeah, um, I can't wait to have another video of that, and I'm hoping the second one goes good. So, yeah, thanks. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and add me as a friend. I love friends. Um, don't be shy. I'm not some creepy child monster. I am a 13-year-old kid, and I am turning 14 in October on the 15th. Oh, and sneak peek, I am going to make a collab. Yeah, that's it. And I'm going to make a collab video maybe today or tomorrow. Depends on how I feel. Because I don't feel very good today. I just feel kind of tired because I woke up at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Mm, outside. Oh, it's cold by the window. Okay, so yeah.